hello everybody welcome back to the channel if you've been here before if you're new thank you for stopping by this is my going to be my coloring book and supplies haul i do these um every other month because i'm trying not to buy a lot of stuff um so i just build it up and then every two months i do a, a haul so this is the haul for may and june and um, the first thing i've got is just i just got this one pro marker um, Winsor and Newton and it's uh, peaches. I'm, I find I'm always running out of peach and I don't want to keep buying packs just to get that one colour because um, I end up with tons of pens that I'm not using and I still end up with without any peach so this was £3.50 they're not cheap but you know I've got it now so it saves me buying another pack of say skin tones or something just to get a peach. Then this is really bizarre, a couple of months ago, and I think I meant, might have mentioned it but didn't show it. Somebody dropped these off outside my door. So, I still don't know who it was. They are used, and some of them are used more than others. The black, well there's two of those so it doesn't really matter, um, is one of them is used quite a lot as you can see. But generally these are hardly been used. I have no idea what they're like, I could just give them to Jennifer. She doesn't really use pencils, she likes to use markers. I have no idea what these pencils are like. I might have a go with them. Um, I might swatch them out and just have a look to see how hard they are because they are just a cheap um, brand. No names or colour names on them. Uh, but yeah, so was, was just, we just found, Paul just found them outside the door and we have no idea who they're from. So I'm not going to complain because all art supplies are welcome in this house. Lidl's had a few um, supplies in, um, not much, but uh, I got some Bic stuff. I got some Bic writing felt pens. These are all 3 99 each. I don't know what these are like, but these will be good for maybe my reading journal. And then I got the Bic Intensity Permanent Intense Colours. So I want to see what they're like. The yellow is a good colour. So again, yellow is a colour that's always running out. I've got the Bic Intensity um, Permanent Metallics. Now, I'm pretty sure I've had these before, but I'm not worried about having them again because, you know, pens, isn't it? And I bought the Bic Intensity Dual Tip Felt Pens. So there's a brush at one end and um, a, nib, a, a fine nib at the other end. So these were all in Lidl's uh, last week when I went in there and I thought, oh, yes, I'll, I'll have those. The biggest purchase this month was of course the Calm Over Chaos 24 brush set. I haven't used them properly yet, I've only, like, like I said, I swatched them on, on, on camera but I haven't actually used them to colour with. I am going to get a book out and colour with them in July so look out for that, either on camera or at the end of the month when I do finish pages. If you can hear the fan I do apologise, it's not that it's particularly hot today but it is particularly muggy. So there's that, I'm, I'm, I'm loving them. So. They're very pretty and I love the packaging, it's really nice. Okay, on to the books. I did get a few books, um, not a huge amount, but let's have a look. So, first of all, myself and Jennifer, and I have flipped this one, have the Smiling Critters colouring book, because Jennifer loves Smiling Critters. We've coloured in hers, we haven't coloured, I haven't coloured in mine yet, but you know, I've got thousands of colouring books, not literally, but it feels like it sometimes. So uh, there's the Smiling Critters one. And again, there's a flip through of this one as well. This is Comfy and Cozy by Jade Summer. They seem to be doing a lot of these really small books at the moment. I'm gonna put that somewhere else. Um, I like this book. They're really sweet pictures. I do want to colour in it again. Coloured in it a couple of months ago. Really, really sweet pictures. Again, there is a flip through of this on the channel. Um, would you like to see a complete Jade Summer collection? Um, obviously it's gone up since the last time I did one. So I would be happy to show you all my Jade Summer colouring books again if you would like or anything like that. Complete um, all my colouring books, Ugh, apart from the ones I haven't coloured in because there's so many of them. Then I got this one from Tesco um, and this was Make Time For Yourself Colour Art. There are felt pens I haven't shown you but I'll show you next month because I just forgot to bring them up. Um, this is one I take to my mum's and I leave down there so I haven't done much in it. I've started this page. Um, it's just so that if I'm at mum's and I don't feel like reading, not that that happens very often, or there's nothing to play on my phone, I'm not in the mood to play on my phone, I can I can colour. So I've got a 
pack of felt pens down there as well. Then there's the cute and sweet colouring book. Again, this is another Jade Summer one, uh, the small one. This one's very simple. It's ridiculously simple. I do think it's a little bit cute though. So when you just want to do something really quickly, I mean, some of them are a bit more detail. You know, you've got a strawberry cake there. Like, it looks like a Victoria sponge type cake, but it's got a hole in the middle. Um, but yeah, they, they, you know, it's just something simple to colour when you're in the mood for something quick. We have Marilyn Mystique by Tal Creates. There is a flip through of this one on the channel as well. This will be part of my Marilyn collection once I've coloured it in. So, might do one of those this month, you never know. I have so many though, it's hard to say. <laughs> it is, it's very hard when you've got as many as I'm, what I'm gonna colour in. So, sometimes I just wanna colour in books that I always colour in, and sometimes I wanna colour in new books. There you go. Um, one of the two Ava Browns that was published last month was Carmen Flowers. Now when they send the free PDF, which I get because I'm a member of the review team, they don't send you the cover, unfortunately. I love the flowers in this book. They are absolutely stunning. I'm not a big flower person. I like colouring flowers, but not to the point of buying a whole book on them. I do want to colour these lilies though. I love the lilies. Then we've got Relax Without Fun in the Sun. This is the holiday special. They put a holiday special out every quarter. And this one obviously is about summer because it's summertime. So again, you've got your usual mix of pictures and patterns. Mostly pictures in this one, but you've got like that. It's more of a people looking at the sun, the sea, a drink, and so on. Very nice like that one on the car. Don't park too close to the sea. You never know if the tide comes in, you'd be done. And then there's the Relax With Art uh, issue 120. I don't get these every month now. I just pick them up when I remember. Uh, if I'm in Tesco's and one's out and I haven't got that one, I, I'll pick it up, you see. And again, this is a lot of travel stuff. Running, good exercise. Hello, Summer. go really really nice little books I love these they, they're just good for fun coloring all coloring is fun though and then I picked up a silly Crayola book for myself which is the bumper fun coloring book with the crayons on the cover you're supposed to use crayons in it, it it's it's thin-ish paper but they're single-sided so I'll probably just use markers in them so that's scarlet so and there's a footballer we don't get a lot of Crayola books like um, you guys in the States do I see them and I'm like oh, I would love that book and they're just not available over here sadly I love that one I love you very much and that little little fawn yeah so I just thought that would be cute um, the other one from uh, Ava Brown is cute gnomes again I've coloured one in there so I've got to find them they're here somewhere. Oh, I can see them. Um, they are really cute, actually, these gnomes. I'm not big on gnomes normally, but I like these ones. The, the one with the lollipops really cute. So, yeah, that was, again, because I'm a member of the um, uh, launch team, again. Now, luckily, they're not publishing on the schedule they were last time I was a member. It was, like, one book a week, sometimes two. I could not keep up with it. Now, it's a lot more... It's a lot easier so I try and get the book pub, uh, printed as soon as, as I can and then I get it. And the last book I'm, and thing I'm going to haul this month is Amazing Animals colouring book that Jennifer and Paul gave me for part of my birthday presents. I don't normally buy these sorts because they are so busy but then I've seen, I've seen other people do them and they say you don't have to colour each individual bit you could just do a block colour like you would normally and some of them are really nice like the peacock's really pretty and you know and they are really really nice so I will have to have a look at that I mean he obviously got that from Amazon so colouring book Kim that one's by um, but yeah so that's everything I got in the month or months of May and June hopefully I will have enough to do a haul in August I can't guarantee it I don't know I have got a parcel coming 
I think probably Wednesday. I think it's been sent Royal Mail 48 track, which I'll be opening on camera, which will be form part of the haul. Um, it might not because I'll have shown you it. I don't. I don't know because I just want to get what it is put away. But I'll, I'll make a decision after I've had a look at it. Um, there are a few colouring books I want, but there's always colouring books I want. I'm just not. I'm trying not to order st uh, much because I've got so much. And I want to make a dent in the books I haven't coloured in because there are so many of them. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to colour any of these books on camera and I certainly will give it a go. It's, it's a bit hard at the moment to film uh, colouring chats because uh, Jenna has been extremely clingy still. Uh, so it's hard to get her to go to bed unless I'm up here as well. So it's very, very difficult. I'm going to try and get her back to bed earlier and in her own room and asleep and then I, I, I'm a late, late night person, I don't go to sleep till really late even when I'm tired. I, I just wake up so I'll try and film at night then. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you very very shortly with my completed pages. Thanks! Bye bye everyone! Bye!